Anytime we do any kind of building activity at our site, we always do an archaeological investigation beforehand. So one of these places of great importance is the John Rankin House in Ripley, Ohio. During the investigations, we found over 2,000 artifacts and eight features. For me, what was interesting were the features that we found in trying to determine whether or not they actually were related to the Rankin family. One was a brick pathway right behind the house. Um, we actually have a photograph of a flagstone walkway that we found that was above it uh, that dates to about 1900. So based on the law of superposition, which says whatever is underneath something is older, we know that the brick walkway is actually older than that flagstone walkway. So it predates the 1900s. So one of the interesting things that we found in feature one was the spoon. With the spoon, we can actually date uh, the feature. It has the, the olive flatware pattern, which just dates to the 19th century, but on it are initials, and it says a JWM. Uh, Going through all of the history of the people who lived in the house, including all of Rankin's 13 children, uh, I deduced that the initials best fit JW Medford, Jr., who uh, lived on the property from 1886 uh, to 1890, when it's most likely that someone in his family threw the spoon away into the trash pit. Another artifact that we found in Feature 1 was this uh, porcelain figurine. It is nicknamed a penny doll or a frozen charlotte. They were first made in Germany and then um, were made throughout Europe and in the United States. Uh, in the U.S. they cost a penny, which uh, is why one of their nicknames is a uh, penny doll. It is an unjointed type of doll, which means that the uh, limbs don't move. Um, and this caused it to get the nickname in the U.S. of the Frozen Charlotte. Uh, this nickname comes from a poem by Seba Smith uh, that was written in 1843 called A Corpse Going to a Ball. Uh, in the story, a girl named Charlotte is on her way to a New Year's Eve ball, um, and it's very cold outside, and her mother told her to dress warmly. Charlotte, however, wanted to show off her new dress and refused to, and on the way to the ball, she froze to death. Uh, so this story is a moral for children that um, they should always listen to their parents and that they should put health over fashion. <laughs>